We got four rows of coils. And what you got to do here, you got to throw a belly strap on each row here. So went straight across, went straight down on the other side. And that's to hold the coils straight down onto the trailer. What's up guys, Aerodite Trucking here, back with another video. Today we're picking up some steel wire. Yeah, here in Tennessee, this load's gonna be going all the way northeast up there to Berlin, New Jersey, looks like. I think this load's gonna be set up suicide style on the trailer. Uh, I gotta go out there and set up my boards for it and my coil racks. Let's go ahead and get started. Started, I gotta have four pieces of dunnage, four coil racks, maybe three. I might put a third one in the middle, maybe. So, a set of coil racks in the front, set of coil racks in the back. Probably get my coil mounts out too. calculation on this I had to have four individual sets of racks set up for this one so I had to pull out four more pieces of dunnage and go ahead and set those up with the racks too so instead of having three racks underneath each set of dunnage it's only gonna be two for a total of eight. Here's the finished product. I may have to move those backward or forward once I get in there and they're actually ready to start loading me, but for now, this is good. 
So yeah, everything's balanced there. You wanna make sure you have the coil mats underneath or over top. Just make sure that your steel doesn't slide around. The rubber is gonna help hold it in place. So I took out steel tarp as well. Gonna need that. And I'm gonna use this piece of dunnage right here. I'm gonna unstrap it and I'll take it out and use it so that I can do my tent tarping. I'll show you that process, how we do a tent tarp. Once we're loaded. seven coils here they're side by side except for that one in the second row that one's by itself and the customer wants these strapped a very specific way i have to show you guys once i'm all done how it looks it's a little confusing to explain let's get started
guys, here we go. The finished follow, well, semi-finished product. We still gotta put the tarp on here. But we got four rows of coils. And what you gotta do here, you had to throw a belly strap on each row here. So went straight across, went straight down on the other side. And that's to hold the coils straight down onto the trailer. Then I believe this is called a butterfly strap. This method of doing it. I could be incorrect, but I think that's it. So you would go through the eye of the coil over the top and back down across itself. And you want to make sure that you put a twist in it. See right there, twisting the strap. And that holds the coil down to the trailer as well from top to bottom. Secondary measure to help as well. But like I said, this customer wants it this way. Usually what I would do is a butterfly eye through the top. When I'm dealing with coils that are similar, similar to these, like slinkies, I would do one through the first set of coils and one through the last. This customer wanted it on the rear too as well. But back to the front, you'll take a butterfly strap as well through the eye of the coil, around the back, put the coil next to it, and it goes right across the top. Now, when I put this one on, I put it through the other side. You wanna make sure that the side of the coil or the side of the strap is getting winched down right here. You wanna make sure that the side of the strap is getting winched down is underneath, underneath. So this side is getting winched down underneath, okay? Stay here and you just repeat the process all the way to the front and back. So belly strap, butterfly strap, except for this one here, no butterfly strap through the top. This customer wanted it specifically this way, so butterfly strap through the eye over the top, belly strap holding it down, and then same thing on the last one, all three, except for the one difference. Now this one had an even number of rows, you can see here four, so I couldn't really do it the way that I normally would on a set of slinkies, which would have more, but as you can see here on that strap that I told you that is on the side of the winch right here. Notice, this is the front of the trailer. So you wanna have the strap that's pulling down onto the winch, pulling backwards towards the trailer. So, see this one, pulling backwards. The next one, pulling backwards. Now this one didn't have to have that, so I went straight down on this one, but normally, if I had an odd number of coils, what you wanna do, see this is the very last one here. This one's pulling towards the front of the trailer. And that's the end in the idea so that the coils with the way you're strapping it, are pulling towards each other. If you look at my fingers, they're pulling towards each other right there like that to keep each other tight so that there's no movement between them in addition to all the straps that you have on there. Keep you nice and secure and safe. Nothing coming off the trailer at all. Simple enough. Now, let's go ahead and get to tarping. Now you see it. Now you don't. All tarped up, ready to go. We had to tent tarp this. Tent tarping is when you have your tarp sloped a little bit and you seal it off with a piece of dunnage with a strap over the top. I mean, this one is not my prettiest tarp job here. The way this load was, it didn't quite seal up the way that I wanted it to, but it more than got the job done. Look at that. No water's getting under there. The dunnage's got that sealed tight. Nice and even. TMC logo looking good. Sealed off in the back. Now, since we're all set and ready to go, final thing I'm gonna do here, like I always do, we're gonna go ahead and do our, our little semi pre trip that we do before we take off after picking up or delivering a load. All right, turn all our lights on. Turn the blinkers on too. Make sure that the headlights are all on. The blinkers are working. We want to just work our way down the trailer. Make sure all the lights are good. And of course, like I always say, check your fifth wheel. Make sure that connection is good. Want to hop up under the trailer? Check that fifth wheel, the kingpin. That's positive connection. Nothing's been tampered with. Lights are working. 
My dunnage has been resecured. The strap down there. Let's work our way on down. Look at all these lights. Make sure they're all working. Everything that's supposed to be blinking and lit up is. You do this work your way from driver's side all the way around to the other side of the truck. Yep, we're looking good. Like I say, you always want to do that after you pick up or deliver a load. That way, you know if something's gone wrong you can get it addressed you definitely want to make sure that you're the person who finds out about it and does something about it before dot pulls you over for some reason and they want to do an inspection on your trailer and they go through and find it before you did and you got a ticket nobody wants to deal with that and there's no reason to deal with that when you have the time before you even take off with the truck to address it or to find out about it and then go ahead and address it before you go hit the road for the long haul but we got a long drive ahead of us it's tuesday this load delivers on thursday and from here, it's about 13 and a half hours. It's probably gonna end up taking me like 14 or so. Uh, maybe right around 14 because there's like a turnpike over there that I'm not allowed to go through. Or certain areas, some turnpike up there in New Jersey. So that's have to take a little detour going around that to avoid that. But other than that, we'll get there tomorrow. Not sure exactly how many hours I'm gonna drive for tonight. Uh, four or five maybe and then do the rest tomorrow that should leave me with plenty of spare time to make it up there without having to really rush or press myself but let's get on the road Got here last night around 10. Not even gonna lie, I took my time driving out here yesterday. A lot more leisurely than I normally do, just because I had a whole day to do nothing but driving to get out here. But made it out here no problem. They got a huge, huge lot to park in. Gonna go ahead and get this load unloaded. Untarped, I mean, untarped and then unloaded. And then we'll see what else we can get into after that.
Done and done. All right, guys. We're officially unloaded. We're done. That was a successful delivery. Didn't have any trouble getting up here. But I'm not a fan of the Northeast. Uh, at least not as a driver. You know, vacationing, I can come up here and go to some places. I got some friends and family to live up uh, around this area. But as far as a driver, I don't particularly care for New York, New Jersey, or a lot of the other New England states, you know, the roads are a lot tighter, it was a lot busier traffic, and it's a lot busier, you know, you have to be a lot more wary of other drivers, you know. I keep myself alert all the time anyway, but like, you have to be like extra vigilant because there's just a lot of traffic and it's really tightly packed, especially when you get into the metropolitan areas. That load was fast. We already got dispatched for our next load. I had to drive like two hours north to go pick it up. You know, I'm ready. I'm definitely ready to get out of here, head back south, go home, you know, for Friday. This next load that I'm gonna be picking up, it ends up delivering, I think like four and a half or five hours away from where I live. So that's not too bad. It's just the main thing is gonna see if I can get parked up there for tonight. And it's looking like, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I'll be able to do that or not, parking up tonight. That would be great if I could. The consignee has parking, but we'll see. But other than that, you know, looks like we got another successful load set off. Money in the bank. I think we'll end it there, guys. I don't think I have too much else to add to it. I'm kind of tired. I didn't let myself sleep as much last night as I should have. I'm going to chill out here for a few minutes before I start driving on the next load. Catch you guys next time.